George Washington was an American military officer, statesman, and founding father who served as the first president of the United States from 1789 to 1797. Appointed by the Second Continental Congress as commander of the Continental Army in June 1775, Washington led Patriot forces to victory in the American Revolutionary War, and then served as president of the Constitutional Convention in 1787, which drafted and ratified the Constitution of the United States and established the American federal government. Washington has thus been called the father of his country. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732, at Pope's Creek in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He was the first of six children of Augustine and Mary Ball Washington. His father was a justice of the peace and a prominent public figure who had four additional children from his first marriage to Jane Butler. The family moved to Little Hunting Creek in 1734 before eventually settling in Ferry Farm near Fredericksburg, Virginia. Washington's first public office, from 1749 to 1750, was a surveyor of Culpeper County in the colony of Virginia. He subsequently received military training and was assigned command of the Virginia Regiment during the French and Indian War. He was later elected to the Virginia House of Burgesses and was named a delegate to the Continental Congress in Philadelphia, which appointed him commander-in-chief of the Continental Army. On January 6, 1759, Washington, at age 26, married Martha Dandridge Custis, the 27-year-old widow of wealthy plantation owner Daniel Park Custis. The marriage took place at Martha's estate. She was intelligent, gracious, and experienced in managing a planter's estate, and the couple had a happy marriage. They moved to Mount Vernon, near Alexandria, where he lived as a planter of tobacco and wheat and emerged as a political figure. Washington played a central role before and during the American Revolution. His distrust of the British military had begun when he was passed over for promotion into the regular army, opposed to taxes imposed by the British Parliament on the colonies without proper representation. He and other colonists were also angered by the Royal Proclamation of 1763 which banned American settlement west of the Allegheny Mountains and protected the British fur trade. Parliament sought to punish Massachusetts colonists for their role in the Boston Tea Party in 1774 by passing the Coercive Acts, which Washington saw as an invasion of our rights and privileges. He said Americans must not submit to acts of tyranny since custom and use shall make us as tame and abject slaves, as the blacks we rule over with such arbitrary sway. The American Revolutionary War broke out on April 19, 1775 with the battles of Lexington and Concord and the Siege of Boston. Upon hearing the news, Washington was sobered and dismayed, and he hastily departed Mount Vernon on May 4, 1775, to join the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia. On June 14, 1775, Congress created the Continental Army and John Adams nominated Washington as its commander-in-chief, mainly because of his military experience and the belief that a Virginian would better unite the colonies. He was unanimously elected by Congress the next day. Washington appeared before Congress in uniform and gave an acceptance speech on June 16, declining a salary, though he was later reimbursed expenses. Washington led American forces to a decisive victory over the British in the Revolutionary War leading the British to sign the Treaty of Paris, which acknowledged the sovereignty and independence of the United States. He resigned his commission in 1783 after the conclusion of the Revolutionary War. Washington played an indispensable role in adopting and ratifying the Constitution, which replaced the Articles of Confederation. The signing of the United States Declaration of Independence occurred primarily on August 2, 1776, at the Pennsylvania State House in Philadelphia, later to become known as Independence Hall. The 56 delegates to the Second Continental Congress represented the 13 colonies, 12 of which voted to approve the Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. The New York delegation abstained because they had not yet received instructions from Albany to vote for independence. The declaration proclaimed the signatory colonies were now free and independent states, no longer colonies of the Kingdom of Great Britain, and, thus, no longer a part of the British Empire. Various legends emerged years later concerning the signing of the declaration, when the document had become an important national symbol. In one famous story, John Hancock supposedly said that Congress, having signed the Declaration, must now all hang together, and Benjamin Franklin replied, Yes, we must indeed all hang together, or most assuredly we shall all hang separately. 
The earliest known version of that quotation in print appeared in a London humor magazine in 1837. Washington was then twice elected president by the Electoral College unanimously. As the first U.S. president, Washington implemented a strong, well-financed national government while remaining impartial in a fierce rivalry that emerged between cabinet members Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton. During the French Revolution, he proclaimed a policy of neutrality while sanctioning the Jay Treaty. He set enduring precedents for the office of president, including use of the title Mr. President and the two-term tradition. His 1796 farewell address became a preeminent statement on republicanism in which he wrote about the importance of national unity. Washington has been memorialized by monuments, a federal holiday, various media depictions, geographical locations including the national capital, the state of Washington, stamps, and currency. He is ranked among the greatest U.S. presidents. In 1976, Washington was posthumously promoted to the rank of General of the Armies, the highest rank in the U.S. Army. George Washington remains one of the greatest enduring figures in American history, and to this day serves as an inspiration to all true Americans.